right reverend father and God, I present unto you Nathaniel Beck to receive the laying on of hands. Has he been adequately prepared? He has. Dearly beloved, it is essential that those who wish to be confirmed or received in this church publicly confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, become his disciples, know and affirm the Nicene Creed, the Lord's Prayer, and the Ten Commandments, and have received instruction in the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments and the Catechism of the Church. God's grace is imparted in baptism through which we are made God's children by adoption and given the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Spirit manifested in gifts and fruits, we are enabled to be God's people for the sake of the world. Now this candidate desires publicly to confess his faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and his commitment to follow him as Lord. He also desires the strengthening of grace through the laying on of hands that the Holy Ghost may fill him more and more for his ministry in the church and in the world. Dost thou hear in the presence of God and the church renew the solemn promises and vows made at thy baptism and commit to keep them? I do. Dost thou renounce the devil and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them all. Dost thou renounce the empty promises and deadly deceits of this world that corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them all. Dost thou renounce the sinful desires of the flesh that draw thee from the love of God? I renounce them all. Dost thou turn to Jesus Christ and confess him as your Lord and Savior? I do. Dost thou joyfully receive the Christian faith as revealed in the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? I do. Wilt thou obediently keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of thy life? I will endeavor to do so, God being my helper. To the congregation, will you witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in his life in Christ. We will. Almighty and ever-living God, we beseech thee to strengthen this thy servant for witness and ministry through the power of the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, and daily increase him thy manifold gifts of grace, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and godly strength, the spirit of knowledge and true godliness, and fill them, O Lord, with the spirit of thy holy fear, now and forever. Amen. Defend, O Lord, this thy servant Nathaniel with thy heavenly grace, that he may continue thine forever, and daily increase in thy Holy Spirit more and more until he comes in thine everlasting kingdom. Amen. Amen. Nathaniel, I sign thee with the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Almighty and ever-living God, let thy fatherly hand, we beseech thee, ever be upon this thy servant. Let the Holy Spirit ever be with him, and so lead him in the knowledge and obedience of thy word, that he may faithfully serve thee in this life, and joyfully dwell with thee in the life to come, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you.